What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm. So if you made it to this third video in this compost series, I appreciate it. This one is going to be the last one. We're going to have three turns. It's going to be the 14th day, 16th day, 18th day. So right now is the 14th day. Technically, I know the 15th day because we didn't quite get a turn in within two days last time. So let's uncover this. I didn't bring a thermometer down with me. It's okay. We're, we're, the pile's kind of peaking. It's peaked already, and it's supposed to be coming back down, mellowing out a little bit more. We can, we can test it with our hand, make sure it's warming up, but it doesn't need to be screaming hot. Let's see what this thing looks like. It's definitely warm. Let's get you close. A lot darker. We can tell it's gotten a lot darker. That's good. All the materials are coming together. It's lost a little volume again. I'm guessing that keeps from the compression after I fluff it up and then it slowly starts to uh, compress back together. So let's go ahead and turn this thing, y'all. Just by looking at it, it looks pretty moist, looks pretty damp, pretty wet. Let's grab some right here real quick. It's just gonna need a little bit, if any at all. Go in a little bit deeper. Oh yeah, steam coming out. We're good. Pick it off. <laughs> Give you a look at the middle of the pile. Steaming. Cooking real good in there. Nice and warm. Nice and hot. So we still got cook on it. We still got three more turns, so it's got time to mellow out. It doesn't quite look like grass clippings anymore. be a closer look there's not too much to say about these things anymore I gave you most of the pertinent facts we're just gonna go through what it looks like now in these last three turns it's looking closer and closer next time it's gonna look even different I'm not gonna wet this down again it's still pretty wet it might be a little too wet so I'm gonna leave it uncovered from the tarp for a little while and then I'll put a tarp back over it all right, guys, that's another turn in the books. We've got two more left, and I'll be back in no time. All right, y'all, we're back. It's been two days since we turned the compost pile last. Time to turn that thing again. I'm going to give you guys a quick walk around of this pile, show you what it looks like. As we can tell, it is getting darker for sure. Darkening up real nice. All the materials are merging together. It's getting harder and harder to tell the the difference between the materials let's give it a feel on the outside of the pile it's definitely warm and definitely heating up in the center there definitely heating up in the center let's grab our thermometer real quick right now it's about 80 degrees let's stick this let's stick this in the top of the the pile here give that 30 seconds or so to warm up and see if I can get you a shot on it there we go you can see it now all right so this is the second to last turn we've got one more turn after this so we want sorry we want this pile to start cooling down it's at the 120 mark it looks like it's almost at the 122 so we're gonna get to the bare minimum of this pile heating up which is the 122 mark which is good which is expected this pile is supposed to be on the decline supposed to be going down as far as the temperature wise 
So that's a good sign. That means our compost working the way it's supposed to work. So let's give it a turn and we'll show you what it looks like in the middle. We got the 125. Pretty dry in spot. We're gonna wet it down a little bit. So I'm really gonna concentrate on this turn. This is matted together. I'm getting it really fluffed up, making sure I get air in between all the pieces that I can. So we've only got one more turn. And we want this to break down as quick as possible, as much as possible within the next two days and then after that last turn to get this into a usable compost. Now I'm about 99% sure this is gonna be great compost for top dressing. It's gonna probably take a few more turns to get it to the point to where you can like get really fluffy, soft, plant seeds in type of compost. If it doesn't work out, then I'll just top dress plants with it. And what is top dressing? Maybe you've heard it, maybe you haven't, maybe you've wondered what it means. All it means is you've got established plants in your garden and you're taking this compost and you're putting it right around the base of the plant. It's not immediately at its root zone, so the plant will not immediately get the nutrients from it. What's going to happen is every time you water it or every time it rains, it's going to be like a, a, a compost tea that kind of seeps through the compost into the ground to the roots of the plant and will feed it that way. So you're not digging it into the ground, you're not turning it into the ground. If you're going to do that with compost, you want to do that before you plant so you're not messing up all your root system in the plants. Great chicken food. You wanna go feed the chickens real quick? A little grub. Ladies, I got a treat for you. Who's gonna get it? Burp, 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 burp. Oh, it's a fight. That was quick. Y'all made short work of that little one. I'll see if I can find some more for you. These ladies are out here working this garden area for me. They're my row makers. They make my rows. All right, let's get back to turning this thing. Got this all fluffed up. Let's try to get it compact in that three foot volume that we need. This probably took me 10 minutes total to turn this from one spot to the next. So what did we learn this pot for, for this turn? We learned it's still heating up just barely to that 122 mark. Next turn, it's probably gonna be below it, so hopefully we've got all the weed seeds out of here all burnt up and everything so we don't have any random grass seeds or grass weeds popping up in our garden. And it barely needed any water. So we added we added some water, but just a little bit. This pile's been keeping pretty moist by itself, even though it's summer. We have been getting a little bit of rain the past week, so that's helped. What else did we learn? It's, it's marrying together real well, it's merging together real well, getting a lot darker. If I had to guess, we're gonna might have to turn this one, maybe two more times after the 18 day to get it to the process or to get it to the form that I want it. We'll see. You saw, we saw that one grub in the bottom of it. We also have, I don't know if you can see it, let me see if I'm in the frame or not here. Here we go. It's a black soldier fly larva. Also, so uh, 
flies are getting in there laying eggs and the, and the fly larva is eating up the material. That's good. Hadn't seen any worms in it yet. So we're getting a good amount of life in the pile, which is good. The life is just gonna increase, well, different type of life. The bigger organi organisms, the grubs, the worms, are gonna be more prevalent in this pile as it cools down and the bacteria and the microorganisms are moving out and dying. Those bigger organisms are coming to start feeding off of those and turn this into more beautiful compost. So you guys hold, hold tight. I'll be back in two days to turn this for one last time for that 18 day compost. All right, two days have gone. Time to turn this thing one more time for the Berkeley method. So this will be the 18th day, technically the 19th day. Remember, I skipped a day because of the rain. Instead of 48 hours, it was that 60 hour period. Technically, it's not an 18 day compost. This is a 19 day compost. And we'll see what it looks like. I can already feel it's really still warming up, so we need to let this compost pile work a little bit more. But we're going to turn it, we're going to see what it looks like after the 18 days. There's no doubt in my mind this can be used as a top dressing for around your plants in your garden, but as far as putting it in the soil or starting seeds in it, it's a little different story. Let's give you a walk around show you what it looks like right now. A lot darker, really dark. Open it up a little bit here for you. Still st steam coming out of there. It's getting a lot harder to tell the difference between all the materials, all the different grasses and weeds in there. So let's go ahead and turn this thing over. Since we reached our 18 day process, what am I gonna do with the with this pile now? Well, I'm gonna turn it one or maybe two more times. So this is gonna be video three of three in the 18 day compost method. And I'm gonna throw in a bonus video where I'm gonna turn it one or two more times and then I'm gonna use it in the garden beds. Freshen up some, some garden beds with this. Feed some plants with it. So this isn't gonna be the last video in this series. It's gonna video three of three of the build, but I'm gonna have to throw a bonus video in there for y'all. See how well this thing's still steaming? means we still got a little bit of time to cook on this thing. I think with the extra material that I threw in it, was it day 10, the fourth turn. Remember where our pile was getting too small and I didn't like how much volume it was losing so we threw some more dry grass clippings in it. Without a doubt that's slowing this pile down just a little bit. It's okay. We may have technically failed it, the 18 day Berkeley method part, but overall we're not gonna fail because we're still gonna make compost. This stuff's really moist. That's, you haven't seen me water it down yet. I'll probably water it down one time before I cover it, but it's still pretty moist. Material's looking really dark, y'all. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Let me show you real quick what the pile's looking like after we just turned it. It's looking really good, y'all. Now this for stuff right here would be perfect for top dressing. It would still help drown out any weeds that are around the plant and would give great nutrients every time you water the plant 
with a, with a compost tee as the water runs through the compost then goes into the ground. You'd be feeding your plants that way. Every time it rained, the rain would go through the compost and then we'd feed your plants. So let's cover this thing up. I'm gonna let this sit for at least two more days, guys. At least two more days, this thing's gonna sit. Then I'm gonna come back in, turn it. After that two days, I may let it sit three or four more days and then turn it again after that. Actually, I may let this sit three days right off the bat just to let it cool down a little bit. I could tell it was still too hot, the much steam is coming out of that for day 18. There's still way too much nitrogen, which actually shows me, again, reinforces how much nitrogen I did put in this pile, and I didn't get nearly to the 25 to 1 carbon to nitrogen ratio that we should have in a compost pile to be able to do this 18-day compost, that is. You can have any mixture you want. You can have any mixture. Let me say that again. You can have any mixture you want to make compost. This is just for the Berkeley method, the 18-day compost Berkeley method. So you could have nothing but green grass clippings to make compost. You can have nothing but dried grass clippings. You could have any type of dead organic material, put it in a pile, and if you're willing to wait long enough, you're gonna have compost. This compost method is just done in a quick, fast manner, which also burns, it's a hot, quick, fast manner, so it burns up all the seeds, all the weed seeds, the grass seeds that are in the pile. So therefore you're not putting a whole bunch of seeds into your garden that you don't want to put in. Now on a slow compost, you're still going to get tons of seeds in that slow compost. It's just something you have to deal with. That's one reason I like doing it this way. So I will see you guys. Shoot, I don't know, I can't give you a time. It's probably going to be at least a week until I get another compost video out. So like I said, we're gonna take a couple days and turn it, take a few more days, turn it, and then we're gonna use some of it. I'll show you how I'm gonna use it. So I really appreciate you guys watching this series. If you enjoyed it, please smash that thumbs up button. Smash that like button. It really helps me out. It really lets YouTube know that people like it. And it'll put this video in front of other people that may be looking to start their own garden or start some compost. So I really appreciate the like and the subscribe. Hit that little subscribe button down there on the bottom. It's either down here or up there. I don't remember which one. And if you missed the previous video, compost videos, watch those. They're gonna be popping up all around me right now. And click on one of those and you'll get your updates on how we got to this point already or the whole other compost series I did back in the late, late, winter back in the late winter and you can see you can watch that later y'all